Hello again, Dr. Tommy Goranga and Nityananda. Goranga and Nityananda, very, very powerful mantras. And um, if you try chanting them, especially when you first wake up in the morning, it's very, very uh, amazing. I can't describe the effects. You'll have to experience them for yourself. Please uh, leave a message in the comments box. I'll make a video response. And um, just sit, cross leg post preferably, and um, just chant, Nityananda Gauranga, Nityananda Gauranga, a few times to yourself, and uh, within a week, I can guarantee you, you'll feel completely different. So anyway, I was reading a little bit from the Vedas here tonight, and it's some very interesting things regarding criticizing other people, as well as um, being criticized and forgiving people. Um, it says here, this is an English translation from the Mahabharata. Now this is the Udyoga Pava, and this is Vidura speaking to Dhritarashtra. And he says here that the ignorant seek to injure the wise by malice and backbiting. By doing so, the critic takes upon himself the load of the wise man's bad karmic reactions. So the critic takes upon himself the load of the wise man's bad karma. So when somebody's criticizing us, we're quite literally just losing bad karma. They are taking it through that criticism. This is very uh, profound. Be, be very careful what you say. Um, what I'm speaking to myself, what I say. The wise man casts off his bad karma by forgiving the critical person. Amazing. Um, Okay, we'll read a different one. This is uh, from the Mahabharata again. This is the Adyoga Pava 36.5. Only this time this is Dadatreya speaking to the Sadhyas. And he says, A person being criticized should not criticize in retaliation. For the pain felt upon receiving criticism, if endured or tolerated, will itself consume the critic and bring in exchange the results of his good deeds. In other words, his good karma will come to you. Uh, this is kind of like some kind of amazing uh, exchanges which, which actually take place here. But what you find is that um, very much tolerance and forbearance is, is favorable in these situations, rather more than retaliation and then the last one here says this is Mahabharata Shanti Pava 115.3 Bhishma to Yudhisthira says one who remains tolerant not becoming angry certainly attains the abuser's pious credits indeed his own bad karma are transferred to the wrathful person 